Welcome to part two of Steiner's Winemaking 101 video series. This is going to be the balance of day one of winemaking. So we're going to be using our hydrometer. We're going to be adding the additives that need to be put into the must, as well as pitching the yeast. So let's get started. The hydrometer is a tool that you use to measure the specific gravity of the must. It's the only way you're really going to know if your must is fermenting into wine if you're actually making wine. It's going to start with a higher sugar content, so the hydrometer is going to float high in the must. And then as your sugar converts into alcohol, it's going to start sinking lower and lower into the must. Okay, Thus we have must turning into wine. So let's do it. Again, new tool. It's got to be sterile. Can't just chuck it in there. So we'll just chuck it in my handy We'll have a work container, leave her sit for a bit. Okay. Stir off the hydrometer. We can do this one of two ways. I'm going to do it this way first. And just simply drop it into your primary fermenter. But we're floating fairly high up. Okay, that's because there's a heavy sugar content in here. And the way you read this thing is you just want to spin it around a little bit and we're going to read one, one part of the scale. And our specific gravity is 1.050. So uh, our hydrometer was floating at about 1.050 in the must. Let's take a look at our instructions. And this particular wine kit, they want it to start at 1.050 to 1.060. So we're right in the range. Here's a picture of a hydrometer, and I'm showing the starting specific gravity of 1.050, and that's the level at which the hydrometer is floating in the must. Once fermentation is completed, the specific gravity will be between 1.0 and 0 0.90. Here's another view of the hydrometer, and by twisting it with your fingers, you can see another scale that says potential alcohol. So with our starting specific gravity at 1.050, twist the hydrometer, check the other scale that says potential alcohol, and you'll see that we'll have approximately 7% alcohol when fermentation is complete. Okay, so we've taken our specific gravity with the hydrometer. We've got to do a little bit of bookkeeping now. I always jot down, they do supply room on the instruction sheet of your wine kits, uh, your initial specific gravity. I always like to put the temperature down as well. And when you go back to the box, you'll find a sticker right on top. It has a barcode on it and essentially the serial number of this wine kit. Always important to put that on your instruction sheet so you have a good reference to it if anything should go wrong. Next step, now we can start doing our additives. And what we're going to be adding is something called bentonite. It's package number two in the instructions. Everything's labeled very simple. It's package number two. If you go to the instructions, you just simply sprinkle this into your fermenter. It is a clay product that aids in the clarifying of your, of your wine prior to bottling. Okay, so just sprinkle it in. And you get a little bit of a workout because this you really do want to have mixed thoroughly throughout the must. Nicely stirred, we are done with the spoon. Next we're going to pitch the yeast. Pitching the yeast. Many ways to pitch the yeast. I prefer to sprinkle it on top. So when you pitch the yeast, you just simply sprinkle it on top. Do not, I must stress this, do not stir it in. Okay, so we've sprinkled the yeast into the primary, and you'll notice that I didn't stir it in. You just want to leave it sprinkled on top. Your fermentation will start out a lot quicker that way. Fermentation should start within the 24 hour period, and you will notice some bubbles and fizzing going on at that time. Essentially done, day one of making our wine kit. 
So what I'm going to do is show you another tip that I've come up with. Uh, that's, that's a way of using my primary connector. And it's simply draping a green garbage bag, or in this case a black garbage bag, over the primary, and putting your lid loosely on top. I prefer this method of primary fermentation simply because the CO2 will escape nice and free and nothing can get into the must. And that's really all you want to do. Well, when you put it on tightly with an airlock and everything, if you have a really aggressive must going, it can burp through the airlock and cause a mess. This way is kind of foolproof. Okay, so we're done for the day. Let's transfer our primary to a place where it can sit. Again, your primary fermentation is going to take between 7 and 10 days, at which time you will take a hydrometer reading. Again, very important part of the wine process. And determine whether or not you're ready to go on to your next step. Day one of winemaking is already finished. We've put our Niagara Mist wine kit on. It took all of, what, maybe a half hour, and you're done. It's ready to sit here for seven to 10 days. And next, we will be up with day two. Steiner's 101 winemaking, day two coming up.